Hi, I'm Randy Vance with Sport Fishing Magazine. You know, it's not often that we get to ride in hole number one of a brand new boat company. But today, here at New Pass near Sarasota, Florida, I'm meeting up with Kevin Barker, the founder and originator of Barker Boat Works. And this is his new Calabogie Bay. When you see a new boat, especially the first off a line, you don't talk. You punch the throttle, spin the helm, and see how it feels underfoot. So, Barker Boat Works' Kevin Barker humbly entertained just a question or two before encouraging me to step aboard and pull away from the beach. The wind was blowing hard from the south when we crossed Sarasota Bay on a westerly path, a path that would have slobbered saltwater spray all over most boats. I was stunned on my windward seat, watching the hull turn down spray and barely a mist touch my face. And for a 26-footer, the boat accelerated nearly instantly with so little bow rise. Top speeds are in excess of 60 miles per hour. These characteristics all of a well-designed stepped hull. I asked Kevin how he pulled this one off on hull number one. It's a Michael Peters design, and okay. it's, a, it's a patented bottom. That's a bottom that's been around for a while. It's the SVVT patented bottom. This is actually the 20th boat that Michael Peters has designed with this bottom. With my turn at the helm, I confirmed the forgiving dry ride and pull no punches in doubling back over the wakes and waves. It was solid. But then I did what no one should ever do in a stepped hull. I throttled up and put it in a hard overturn. She not only came around, she came around without a smidge of slip, chine trip, or spin out, and her prop held its bite no matter if turning port or starboard. The boat was designed by Michael Peters, um, who has a history of building you know, offshore race boats. Um, we, we do bond the hull uh, to the deck with plexus. Mm -hmm. So we do use plexus, and we also use plexus to bond the the, the console to the deck as well. But it's also screwed into the stringers as well as through bolted where we can. The extra beam that we built into the boat uh, allows the boat to be incredibly stable. Michael Peters has designed more than 40 hulls with variations of the feature and each has proven it can provide superior speed and acceleration while improving maneuverability. With the test ride over, it was time to lift the hatches and see what they held. The unique design began with the clean helm station. Kevin wanted a clean helm, and he accomplished it by eliminating analog gauges or other instruments, opting for an extra-large 19-inch Garmin display linked to the Mercury Verado interface to display engine RPMs, speed, fuel burn, and other data in the margins of the display. C-Zone makes easy the installation and integration of pumps, lights, all electrical functions on board by running them all through a single bus wire linked to the main brain and multifunction display. As the tour continued, it was apparent much thought and strategizing had taken place between Michael Peters and Kevin Barker to make this boat easy to own. I designed this console so I could actually sit inside of it, sit on the step, and be able to open up all the doors and have easy access to all the rigging. Well, that makes maintenance easy and lower in cost. Mm -hmm. It makes the ladies happy as well. Other great touches were rod holders positioned for rigging and fishing. The forward deck storage compartments joined together under three hatches. Inside them, sea deck matting protected gear from scraping, sliding, and bumping. Adding to the comfort is the transom jump seat that tucks away. The step to the bow deck housed more storage designed to hold net buckets. Two live wells were powerfully aerated and the starboard and stern coolers could also be plumbed and a fifth could be added to an optional leaning post. To keep the freeboard sleek, live wells in the deck are scuppered to the Kevlar reinforced trim tab pockets. While many boast hand laid hulls, it's only when that technique is carefully executed by experienced layup professionals that bragging rights are in order. This boat is built out of 100% vinyl ester resins, 100% um, composite core material, so the bottom and the sides of the boat are cored. Um, we vacuum bag and resin infuse oh, both go. the hull and the deck. Um, it's just the highest tech way of building boats today. Before the molding process ever began, plugs were cut with CNC routers by Marine Concepts, one of the premier fabricators of lamination molds. Then to add to them, Barker uses a high-tech vacuum bag process for molding. Mold preparation is key to the fine Barker boat finish we found on our Calabogie Bay boat, and Kevin's team cuts no corners here. For future R&D, Barker's team is working on molds and designs for upright supports for a hardtop. It's clear that Barker's team is on the right track. 
Orders are building and already they're outgrowing their first humble factory and planning to move into this new building. Here will be the new headquarters and general offices. Kevin explained final assembly will take place in the back and quarters as slick and smoothly run as a NASCAR pit shop. You know, for every fisherman, the boat is the ultimate dream. But if you're gonna build boats, you've gotta have the dream and the passion for it. And you gotta have a dedicated crew behind you to build hull number two, the Calabogie Bay boat, exactly like hull number one that we rode today. I'm Randy Vance for Sport Fishing Magazine at Barker Boat Works, and this is getting ready to be one great fishing boat. <laughs>